Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my YouTube channel. So as you can see from the title of this video, I'm going to be filming kind of like a 20 second birthday haul, just showing you guys what I got in New York City on that day and I also made two online orders that I'm going to share. I'm going to be doing this all in chronological order. I'm just a Virgo so I'm like, gotta stay on the book. And yeah, I have everything set out for me um, on my bed, and let's just get to it. So this right here is the quad eyeshadow from NARS. I got this at NARS Prince Street. Um, it was just like this cute little shop, and I just had to go in, you know. And this apparently, according to the lady at the store, is one of their most popular products. Like, because it's in the shade Mojave. Hope you can see that. Probably not. I'm going to open it up because, like, I haven't seen it in a while. I've been keeping all this stuff just, like, closeted away. Why is it not moving? Okay. Um, so that I can film this video and not, like, be running around. <laughs> I need help. Alright. I love NARS products. Like, they're just so pretty. Ooh. Mm, pass the film. <laughs> I just think this is a gonna be a really good go-to eyeshadow palette for me, and you know you can easily take it on the go. The mirror with Nars products are always really good, so that should be nice. All right, next up we have McNally Jackson. There's going to be a lot of McNally Jackson. I'll try to like time stamp everything. But yeah, I went to like the normal bookstore um, that I always go to. And then I also went to Goods for the Study to both sections of the shop. It's like the section where there's just a bunch of pens and pencils and stationery supplies. And then the other section where it's more about like journals, notebooks. Um planners, things like that. Oh, and also some other cool stuff. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's get to like the first one that I went to. Let's see how much I spent. Yeah, I spent $156.59. Um, but I got some cool stuff and I love to read. I'm gonna go, oh, don't mind the MoMA bag. I just like dumped everything in here. Uh, so I got a little... A three set of field notes. I like these because they say New York on it. I think those will come in handy. I have a few other field notes. Note little pad thingies. Um that I use when I run out that I can use this. And then I got this. I love it. It's just a set of letters. Look how pretty. Ugh, I think this is gorgeous. I don't even really write letters, but wow, this is so pretty. Yeah. That's the let me make sure I'm looking at it right. That's like the right side. This is the left side. So those are the two designs. Um, yeah. <sighs> Maybe one day I'll be like a letter, more of a letter writer. <laughs> Ooh, then I got this. You can, it's 
pretty simple. It's called storage.bit, and you'll think notebook size medium. And yeah, you can just store, you know, little, little notepads, a pen and a pencil, even your iPhone. Um, looks pretty cool. Excited to use it. Okay, let's get on to the books. So we have The Idiot by Edith Bottom. Batten? Bat? Ah. I give up. Uh -uh. And then The Doll by Daphne du Maurier. Um, I keep looking for My Cousin Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. I love the book Rebecca. I actually just watched Rebecca 2020, like the Netflix movie. Um, which finally dropped. I've been waiting for it. And yeah, like I've seen my cousin Rebecca at bookshops, but I just am never like in love with the book cover art and design. So it's like, do I really want to buy it and add it to my at home collection if it's not exactly what I want? I know, I'm picky. Um, so anyway, I pick up the doll. You know what? I'm going to move this. I got Memory Place by Yoko Ogawa. Not sure what that was. I love the cover art to this. I've heard mixed reviews from this. Um, yeah, but I think it's one of those books that you kind of have to just read and see for yourself. It's been on so many lists. It's a National Book Award finalist and it's been everywhere. Like, I don't know about you, but yeah. Normal People by Sally Rooney. Now there's a name that you can't go wrong with. It's gonna be hard for an American like myself to butcher it. Um, another book that's been out there everywhere and I really wanna start the show. So I definitely wanna give the book a read. It seems super idyllic, but also like it hits hard and showcases reality. Um, yeah, and I want to, I want to figure out like the complexities to the relationship of the two main characters. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> Alright, second to last book, The Secret History by Donna Tartt. Does this book even really need an explanation? I haven't read it yet actually, but... I see it all the time on like dark academia posts, whether on Tumblr, Instagram, or literally anywhere. I think I kind of get the gist of it, like, like the preface basically about how it's like some students that develop a different way of thinking. Um, yeah, in an elite New England college, so I, I just, I've got to read it. <laughs> Now, this one, The Isu Dancer and Other Stories by, I think I should just put it up on the screen. Um, this is just like one of those random eyes. This was in the like discounted bargain section. So right here, I don't know if you can see. Um, at McNally Jackson. And yeah, I have another book by this author on my Goodreads. TBR, but this seemed interesting, and I was like, oh, I recognize that author. Not that I've ever read works by her, um, but yeah, now's a good time to start it. Honestly, I'm one of those people that feels like it's cool to start with a shorter read um, from certain authors sometimes, just to kind of delve in and see what they're all about um I know a lot of the times most people 
they to go with their most popular book or their most best selling and whatnot, but I'm like, eh, maybe I should pick something a little bit more different and obscure. <laughs> Okay, so that's everything from like the a bookstore section of McNally Jackson. And then in a whole other store, they have goods for the study, um, which is cool. So I'm gonna grab my items that I bought um, from there on August 31st, 2020. Okay. Isn't this bag cute? And then I just like banged it up. <laughs> All right, where to start? I think I'm gonna start with, I think it was the right side of the store because there's like, there's two different entrances and two different registers for each side. But yeah, these two items I believe I got from the right side of the store that I went to first. <laughs> so let's start with these. I was reading about this to my friend who also has a YouTube channel. Actually, she has a few. But it's called the Wander Dream Journal. <laughs> this is like one of those in person finds that just like melts your heart and suits you away in a sense. Um, but yeah, it's a dream journal, which I've never done before, but why not? And you kind of just have a way of logging your dreams in here. Now I'm no sleep expert, no dream, dreams expert, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is pretty basic. So I'm gonna show some of what's in it, just to give a little bit of a recap to what it's like if you were to buy it. I hope you can see that. Yeah, isn't it neat? And if I recall correctly, every page is pretty much the same. Yeah, dreams, lo dream log, recall what happened in the dream. You can also like write in your sleep quality, your emotion, your time frame with sleep, that's good. Then visualize, so I feel like that means they want you to jot down like your imagery or what really made the dream stand out, the colors, the vibrancy, the setting, the landscape, things like that, what this person wore, what that person wore, things like that, and interpret what does this, the dream mean. So yeah, you just put the date on top and like have a go at it, I think. I'm so excited to start this. I haven't really used any of these items. Um, since getting them because I wanted to film this. All right, and then also on that side of the store, I got this, which is just a planner. It's for 2021. It feels really good knowing that I found myself a really good planner um, for the new year, which isn't, and we still have like two months, over two months. Um, so yeah, this should be nice. I like this bright color. Kind of reminds me of like a standard pink highlighter. I don't know if anyone else is getting those vibes. Looks a little bit different on camera. It is what it is. <laughs> okay, back into this bag again. <laughs> so now we have my like pens and pencils and highlighters. I'm so excited. Um, where do I begin? I'm gonna begin with these. I mean, everyone knows what these are. They're this, I don't really know what to say. It's Stabilo Boss highlighters. Yeah, get it in. I love going to a place like Goods for the Study because you can just browse quite a lot of different pens in different sizes, different colors. You can browse highlighters in different colors, um, different types of mechanical pencils. You can talk to somebody if you need to 
and just buy what you like rather than getting like let's say a six pack of these highlighters when really I just want these two colors like I don't need all of that um so yeah these two what should I do next <laughs> um yeah these are the uh uni ball sig signum 207s I got like not exactly a normal blue color, a little bit more of a light blue, I guess you could say. And then this pale red. It's not too pale, but I hope I'm making sense. These are super nice. I have like tested out most of these, which was fun. I'm so excited to get some good use out of these. Um, they're the Pigma Micron O. Oh, microns in 01 and then yeah I don't think they have like a name for this for these colors yeah oh and it's 0.25 millimeter for the size I also really love these colors super cute I don't think I've ever had like a really good detailer pen that's kind of like what I like to call them or yeah micro pigment ink for waterproof and fade proof fine lines Ugh. me and my bullet journal are just gonna love these you know <laughs> all right so then i got this so just a mechanical pencil i already have lead for it i think and it's the Monograph Zero by Tombow. Tombow is a really good brand. I have one other product of theirs. It's like, it's one, It's not like a whiteout, but it's just like this way of going over your mistakes when you take notes or when a little accident happens, you can use it. Um, yeah, this is by Tombow, a good sturdy mechanical pencil. Love the color. And then I got these. These are the, how am I, oh yeah, Tous les jours, mes stylos. Oh, my French sucks. Like sometimes you just, you say it out loud and you know you suck. Okay, anyway. Yeah. Ooh. I'm like so excited. Oh. That feels so good. Yeah, these are pens, actually. <sighs> they're so nice. They're like actual, they're like wooden, I think. I'm no expert. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know if you could see. I'm trying to get it to focus. Is it going to focus? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put these all away and then get my next items. All right, next up, I went to Converse Soho and Sephora Soho. So yeah, I was in Soho for a bit. At Converse, I made a pretty standard buy, at least in my book. I've had these in the past. Um, I just like wore out of them, and I think I might have grown a shoe size. So yeah, I'll take I'll take one out just to show. I am not six. I just love the all black ones. They're so cool. <laughs> um, these are the ones I tried on in the store. They're nice. Okay. Sephora. So fun. I just, I was like, grab, grab, grab. <laughs> I had some things that I knew I wanted to get, but then I think I got one or two other things that weren't on my list at the time but it's my birthday girls get a little little bit that's the receipt 
reminding me that I spend too much money. I have been waiting to get this for such a long time. It's the Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo. This is a clarifying shampoo. And yeah, my hair tends to be a little bit on the oilier side, although I manage it well, you know. I'm 22, like I know what I'm doing. This is a weekly detoxifying shampoo. I know the Anna Edit, who is a UK-based YouTuber. I think she uses this like regularly, not weekly per se. But technically it's supposed to be a weekly kind of like clarifying shampoo. I, I have a feeling I'm gonna be addicted to this and it's not cheap. Then I also pulled off a little, um, you know, mini away waste spray. That should be fun. Can't go wrong with that. That's like, I feel like that's an iconic product almost. I got, yeah, I did get this in Sephora. I know it's NARS, but I got it at Sephora. It's just a mini radiant creamy concealer, and I got it in Ch Chantilly. Yeah, I was about to say porcelain. Yeah, this is Ch Chantilly. Chantilly. <laughs> wow, I'm really, uh, yeah, I'm doing bad at this. Um, I've never tried this concealer, actually, ever in my life. I feel like I'm the last person alive to grab a little bottle of this, but it should be fun. Saving the best for last. Um, this was just my birthday gift thingamabobber. Yeah, so it's the it's three milk makeup products. The mini Kush mascara. I've actually heard good things about that mascara. And my eyelashes are kind of long, so like I don't need a volume type mascara. I just need something simple, waterproof my preference and it's like gonna do the job like I don't really need that much and then this also has mini lip and cheek I like those types of things and hydro grip primer sample okay all right <laughs> another buy that I like just been wanting to get my hands on and try um, I'm actually close to running out of eye cream. I'm using the Sephora Collection one. Yeah, with like hyaluronic acid. It's pretty good. And then next up we're going to try this. It's a super goop one, but it has SPF 40. Yes, I'm, I'm a huge fan of SPF because I burn so easily. Like I have a fair complexion, but also especially because I'm on acne prescriptions like my skin just like I can't go without sunscreen even if I'm just at home I can't so yeah an eye cream with sunscreen sign me up I said I was saving the best for last here we go drum roll this is the Luna Play Plus Fuchsia I thought this was just the Luna Mini Luna Ferreira Mini. I have tried this. Like, I couldn't just have it sitting on my bookshelf doing nothing. It's so good. I remember this got popular, I don't know, maybe like 2016 or 2017. Yeah, and then I was in, I think it was in like, yeah, 2017 when I was in, um, California and Washington State and like the West Coast and one of my cousins had one or two and she was even offering for me to have the other one I was like no no I couldn't like I have had this on my Sephora wish list and like I'll buy it with my own money trust and she was like you can take it but I was like nah nah I'll, I'll be fine and yeah she liked it I love it it's so nice like just to get a nice Cleanse it. Oh, it feels so good. I love this kinds of stuff. It it was made for me, I think. Alright, so that was everything from Sephora. 
all right let me put this on the bag and then we can move on all right so the next two purchases that I made on my last birthday uh, were for Sunday Citizen which is this online retailer I don't think they're in store in person but if I'm wrong I'll correct myself somehow during the editing process and I bought their crystal weighted blanket hold up let me get it because it arrives like in the mail and everything already <laughs> <laughs> I just had to bring it over. Um, yeah, so I have slept on it for one night. It was amazing. I don't trust myself to use it like on a daily basis because I like um I I'm more of a deep sleeper, so it might put me in such a good sleep that I'll like miss my alarm or it'll be such a hassle getting up. I recently got my room painted so now that it's painted and everything I you know have like set my furniture where it goes and everything so I tend to use it more. Um which is exciting. Um but yeah I ordered this on my birthday uh, and yeah Ooh, it is heavier. It's so so pretty it feels amazing and you just get like the most calming and soothing sleep it feels amazing if you haven't tried a weighted blanket please do just order it like there's not much to lose okay and then my next online purchase was a an individual membership to the Whitney Museum I love the Whitney Museum in Chelsea, Manhattan. It's just such a beautiful place to go to. And I had such a nice experience there in 2019. Um, I think I only went once. It is, well, if you go to Chelsea regularly, like it's right there, but if you're in, if you're in different parts of Manhattan, it can kind of be a little bit of an extra step to kind of like take the subway all the way over there to the Whitney but it's so worth it <laughs> and yeah I feel so grown up and mature now having two museum memberships um in 2019 on my birthday I got a Met Museum membership which also I really love um using you get well you used to be able to get the Metropolitan Museum of Art, the Met Brewer, and the Cloisters. Actually, haven't been to the Cloisters yet, but I intend to. Um, I don't know what's going on with the Brewer currently, but yeah, I have that, and now I have the Whitney membership, which is so amazing. Okay, so next up, I went to Diptyque in Noida. And I also remember grabbing like Boba Fix, I think it was called, um, literally like right by it. I was gonna go into Juice Press, but the lady was like, we're not doing smoothies, we're closing. So yeah, <laughs> you know how New York is. They just like don't care if it's your birthday, if you're going through an emotional breakdown, if, I don't know, if something like terrible happened, they're just like, we're closing, goodbye. <laughs> Because I came like 10 minutes before close. Anyway, let's focus on Diptyque. I'll be back. Alright, so I very simply got the smaller size of their jasmine candle. I think it's called, yeah, the mini. My middle name is Jasmine. <laughs> and I've always wanted to buy something from Diptyque. <sighs> it's just like one of those brands that... Your girl has got to have, you know? And yeah, I think this was really fitting to be my first dip tea purchase ever. The lady was super nice. She signed me up for like their emails and made me an account or something like that. And then she also threw in some samples. All I did was tell her that I like, you know, muskier scents or like woody scents, things like that. 
So this is what she threw in for me. Which one have I been using up? I think it's this one. Yeah. I think I literally finished this one. <laughs> um, it, it's been nice wearing it. Cannot wait to burn the actual candle. Like, I'm so excited. <laughs> Next up we have Brandy Melville. Get ready for quite a lot of Brandy Melville. I'm not gonna go too much into detail with this. I kind of just wanna whiz through it cause like we all know what Brandy Melville sell, sells and everything. Um, but anyway, first I went to their Prince Street location, then I went to Aritzia, and then I went to their flagship store. I'll explain a little bit about that in a bit. All right, so at the Prince Street shop, I get this. I just love this color combo. Ooh, so pretty. Yeah, it's a little bit cropped. And it's a long sleeve shirt. I think this is gonna look so good. All right, I also got this. Also a little bit cropped. This material is a little bit thinner than the other one. Um, but this is just a Georgetown top. I got these. I think the receipt, these are just sweatpants by the way. Um, I think the receipt is saying that they're dark gray. They almost look like a bit of a charcoal gray. That's how I would describe them. But yeah, they're just basic sweatpants. I also got this at the Prince Street shop. Just a, a hunter green. I feel like this is not coming up well on camera, I don't think. Yeah, it's a hunter green um, New York top. I also got these sweatpants, the same as the like dark gray, charcoal gray sweatpants, um, but in hunter green. I think that's what Brandy Melville calls this color. All right, also at the Prince Street shop, I got this. It's navy blue, long sleeve, and oversized. And it's one of those like, with like a little bit of the thicker fabric, not cozy, but thicker and more durable. And lastly, for the Prince Street shop at least, I got these. Just little shorts. It was hot out around this time, so I was like, I need good shorts. Um, but yeah. I'm from New York. So also at the Prince Street store, I got these. Another pair of shorts, St. George's. Okay, so now I'll explain why I went to the flagship shop as well. It's cause I was looking for the oversized gray Christie hoodie in black um, zip up and I wasn't finding it at the Brandy Melville Prince Street so like I asked one of the girls there and yeah they couldn't find it for me so I went on over to the flagship store it's kind of cool that it's like literally just like a few blocks away if not closer and same luck they didn't have it either but it's fine it's pretty easy to just put an online order in so anyway, on my way to the flagship store, I also stopped by Aritzia, and I simply just got these. They're the TNA logo socks. I've heard Maddie Sidlick um, rave about these on her YouTube channel. And yeah, I mean, you can't go wrong with a simple pair of socks. Okay. Now, moving on to Brandy Melville flagship store. You know how it is with these places, like you go in and you just have to buy something. So I got only two items. I got another pair of sweatpants. And these are so nice. I love the color. Yeah. And then, I got this. Isn't this pretty? I love it. I cannot wait to wear it. Mm. 
So I treated myself to dinner at Italy Flat Iron. I think the restaurant is called Manzo Mamza. Um, and then I went into the shop afterwards and I got these two. Well, this is mints and then this is licorice. And yeah, I've already had all of them. I really like these. This was more bitter because it was like licorice with anise. But yeah, I love these tins. I should probably like repurpose them somehow. All right. And then my other two purchases at the Italy store were these two. It is so interesting because I was on the website for these deadlines, Davines, and like at around this time, I mean, and I was like debating, should I buy shampoo and conditioner from them? Should I buy hair care products from them? They seem really good, but like I've had, well, I've been on different sites for, you know, makeup, skincare, hair and everything in which certain items will be marketed so that they seem to tick off all your boxes but then when you actually get them they're not as good as you expected so you just like never know but upon seeing their line in person and at a place like Italy flat iron I was like they have many sizes and this is the one that I wanted love which is a well this is a lovely smoothing shampoo for coarse or frizzy hair and then this is a lovely smoothie and conditioner for course or for the year, obviously. So they go in a pair. I cannot wait to use these. <laughs> so that's it for you. Moving on to just CVS Union Square. I think I had like a 40% off, a 60% off dis discount for my birthday. And I was like, I have to redeem it and just, you know, buy some crap. <laughs> Um, so that's what I did. Literally nothing too interesting and honestly, I wish I got something kind of cuter as my last buy so that I could close out this video in, <laughs> I don't know, a more fashionable fashion. <laughs> Is that even an expression? I don't think so. Okay, so I dumped quite a lot of what I got. Well, like everything that I got besides this. And it's Glossier pouch. Um, I got post-it notes. Nothing too fancy there. I got cuticle remover. This is the Sally Hansen one. I got like a little set. I already opened it, but it was just like a mini size toothbrush and toothpaste. Gotta do what you gotta do. Mouthwash. Pepto Bismol. I I don't even like Pepto Bismol and it doesn't even work, but the taste is good. <laughs> like literally, even if I'm not sick, I'm like, ugh, the taste of like that medicine-y Pepto Bismol type taste is so good. I got dental floss. For some reason, I just don't really like floss sticks. Like I, I, I'll use them. I've been using one for a while now, the past few nights and everything, but I can sometimes be a more Cool, slow, classical person. I'm like, oh, I'd rather just take my time with flossing and, you know, get out some string and do it. And then, I should not show this. I should not show this. Yeah. I'm not even capable of masturbation because I have, I'll put it on the screen. Wait, is it this big? I don't even know. I don't even know why I got it. I wasted my money. <laughs> anyway, that concludes my 22nd birthday haul. <laughs> um, I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, just as a disclaimer, that I probably should have put in the intro. I know I'm in no way trying to brag or make anyone feel lower than me um, or to be like, here, I got all this, this and that. Um, yeah, I was just trying to have a good day, enjoy my time out and about, like I'm sure so many of you have been going through. Um, 
I just felt like really cooped up at home. It's like, well, now that school is more like in session, it's just like, you know, your course load, uh -huh. work, and quarantining a lot, and wearing your mask and everything like that. So, yeah, I just wanted to treat myself, and I'm glad I did. I wish I had fit in a museum, but yeah, I had some other things going on on the day of my birthday. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. You can drop a like or comment if you wish. And that's it for now. Bye!